Hi guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I'll be talking about a really cool way and a fun way where you can process your images in Lightroom by simply using a music MIDI mixer. Catch me after the break and I'll explain how to get this thing working for you in Lightroom. See you in a sec. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to go and do is go to midi2lightroom.com and go to software and go right down to here you can download midi to lr for free. Once you've done that, install it and then once you've installed it, when you open Lightroom, you'll come across a box like this. Okay, so once you've opened Lightroom, this MIDI to LR box will come up here. And that box is basically a way to map the keys on your mixer. So for instance, I've got my sharpening dial here. And if you look on screen, you'll see that sharpening is number 24, it's class of 24 command. That doesn't matter, the system will automatically, or the software rather, will automatically highlight which dull you're turning, okay? So if I didn't want that for sharpness, I just hit the button and I can choose an array of everything that Lightroom has to map that particular dial to whatever I want. So for instance, I chose sharpness and all I've done was go down to detail and then once you've mapped all your keys so I just zoom back out here once you've mapped out all your keys and your dials and you can see that there but I've got for instance on the bottom sliders I've got my exposure my contrast my highlights my shadows and I've changed some of these dial. Well, every dial is completely mappable. It's just a mixer, and I just stuck stickers on top of it to let me know what I've mapped them to. And if I now give you an example of how you can use this to edit in Lightroom, you'll be amazed actually how quickly you can edit an image. Okay, so this is an image. Just zoom right in on that. And using my top dial, actually I'll tell you what, I'm going to open the control panel here so you can see what's happening. So using the control panel, so you can see, I'm now just moving the slider for my temperature and you'll see the temperature on the picture get really really warm or really really cool. Okay, And you'll see the histogram moving up and down to indicate what's going on. Let's say for instance I wanted to add a vignette so I've programmed this particular key for a vignette so I can add a vignette I've even added the feather, so I can feather it more by twisting the dial, or if you want a really harsh vignette, 1850s style, looks awful, but there you go, you can do that. It's a really, really, really cool way. I've literally mapped everything on this mixer. Even to, you know, being able to move without touching the screen, I can move forward to another, another image, forward, I can basically go back, I can make a virtual copy, I can literally do whatever I want without having to touch the screen whatsoever. You can even, for instance, set presets on here to copy previous pictures and then paste the settings onto the next picture. 
I would encourage you to download it. It's fantastic free software. Get yourself one of these MIDI mixers. The actual one, if I just unplug it a minute, the actual one that I bought, now I've had this for about 18 months, it's the Akai Professional MIDI Mix. The reason I bought this particular mixer is because it all runs off USB, so you don't need a separate power pack. It's an awesome mixer, get yourself some sticky labels, label it up how you want to label it up, and trust me, if you're doing any kind of work where you have to go through thousands of pictures, as you guys know, I'm a wedding and an events photographer, and just simply going through all the pictures and either flagging them as the ones that I want and unflagging or marking them as red, the ones I don't want. I can honestly say it sped up my post-processing time by about 50 or 60%, and that is no exaggeration. Get one, it's fantastic. hope you found that video really really useful this has saved me so much time and as they say time is money if you edit hundreds or thousands of images get one of these it really is worth the money there's lots of different brands don't get conned into the ones that they say is specifically made for Lightroom we pay hundreds of pounds or dollars for them get yourself a normal music mixer and download the free software from MIDI to Lightroom from the website. I'll catch you on the next video and I'll see you guys real soon. Cheers. Bye.